Hello again, everybody. It's Scott Casper, Takedown Media. Our coverage of the sport continues this time. We head to the greater Iowa City Coralville area where the news is out. United World Wrestling and USA Wrestling have announced that the, uh, well, the World Cup is coming back to America. And here to talk about it is longtime leader of the Convention and Visitors Bureau there in the Coralville, Iowa City and North Liberty area. And that is Josh Schomberger. Josh, thank you for taking the time. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. Thanks for having me. Exciting. It's- It's a huge event. You guys have proven out that you can host incredible events and sell tickets, fill hotel rooms. What is the overall goal of bringing the World Cup to the area? I just think it's another opportunity to showcase our community and and truly one of the greatest wrestling capitals in the world. And, you know, that's not overstating it by any stretch of the imagination. And so we've, uh, we've had a lot of success with the Olympic trials the last couple cycles and here was a great opportunity for us to uh, to try and really showcase the community to a worldwide spotlight. The community really does wrap its arms around wrestling, and it's it's really doesn't surprise me. And from the looks over your shoulder, it doesn't surprise you either. You guys are proud of the wrestling heritage there. Where does it start for you? Uh, well, yeah, I mean, I think we're probably one of the, uh, our office probably has more season tickets to wrestling than any other sport. If I go around and ask the people in the office. And so, you know, it's a big part of the community and the culture, as you know, in Iowa. Um, I didn't grow up with it. I, I grew up in Southern California. I went to a big wrestling high school in Poway high out there. But, um, when I got here, you know, I, uh, immediately got connected with the wrestling folks and, you know, it's just one of those things. I'm, pretty intimately involved with the program, the Hawkeye Wrestling Club, and and uh, Dan Gable and Tom and Terry are three people in particular that I don't ever want to let down. And anything I can do to help them and advance this program and, and our reputation, uh, I'm all in. You are in the Nike hot seat today. I know that'll make Terry Brands ultimately very happy, Josh, but it is something well, of a, a very special opportunity. The World Cup is not an easy event to get. Perhaps it's right up there with uh, uh, securing any sport for the NCAA championships. But uh, can you can you talk about the process of bidding on a, on an event like this? Uh, yeah, well, it's it's uh, it's pretty similar to any of the other events. We just actually hosted a World Cup in the sport of cyclocross this past September, and we're in line to get that again next year. And that was our first sort of international working with a governing body, UCI, in that particular instance. But We started this in June. We went and met with Rich and Pete and just kind of recapped the Olympic trials from a couple months earlier. And, you know, Rich and Pete suggested, hey, you guys might want to take a look at uh, doing a World Cup. You know, I I have aspirations someday of hosting Senior Worlds here. Mm. I know that's a tall order, but why not? You know, it's Iowa City. I I remember vividly in Las Vegas, uh, one of the Turkish coaches saying publicly there that, you know, he thought if if the United States were to host a wrestling event, it should be in Iowa City. Nothing against Vegas, but, you know, it is what it is. And so I, I told him, I said, hey, when can we get a Fila Juniors? Maybe we start there, or, or sorry, UWW Juniors. And, and they said, well, let's start maybe looking at this World Cup. So a couple months later, we looked at that, got the bid packet, saw the commitments, the financial commitments, the lodging commitments, the travel commitments, and uh, we're pretty pretty confident we could admit we could meet those and exceed those and so same team that puts on the trials you know said hey let's roll up our sleeves and let's put ourselves front and center to the world interesting that you have such a great tie to the program i think it's commendable actually and and uh, given the history of success that that this local organizing committee has had. I mean, when you put together the University of Iowa Athletics, the Iowa City Coralville Convention of Visitors Bureau, that includes what Iowa City, uh, the city of Coralville and the city of North Liberty, uh, you guys really do roll up your sleeves and put your shoulder to the task at hand. Um, is, 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 it, uh, is the planning pretty much the same for each event? It's just insert different organizing committee members here? Yeah, it is. I mean, we have a really strong team here, and it started in 12 with Les Steenledge, who everybody in the wrestling community knows. Um, uh, you know, one of Les, Les's uh, best assistants was Matt Getz. He's kind of taken the reins there and been the lead. And so, you know, you got Matt Getz over in UI Athletics Event Management. You got me here at the CBB. You know, I think all three of our city managers, Coralville, North Liberty, and Iowa City, probably have season tickets to wrestling. So they recognize how big of a, uh, of a deal this is for this community. And 
they're ready to roll up their sleeves too. And, you know, they were the very first uh, that I notified when we got the email from UWW a couple days ago. And uh, they're going to be the very first to be purchasing tickets and, uh, and have uh, really good seats for this. Having been a, a member of the University of Iowa community, living there in 80 through 83, knowing what wrestling does as far as draw, we look back at some of the historic numbers. 57,766 populated the interior of the Carver Hawkeye Arena for the 2012 sold-out U.S. Olympic team trials. And that's, that's a, a tremendous record in and of itself. But the fans speak well of the experience. Um, I go back to the field house. Okay, and I know that was that was done prior to your arrival. But when when they opened up Carver Hawkeye, I realized Roy Carver's commitment to both Coach Gable and the University of Iowa and the sport of wrestling. Uh, what are your anticipations for attendance uh, for these events? Oh, I don't think there's going to be any question we're going to sell out. I mean, the, the opportunity to have USA wrestle the seven other greatest wrestling nations in the world is going to be incredible. And I've said for the past several months, people have known about this bid, just how amazing will it be to have a whole section of Russians, a whole section of Iranians, maybe a half a section of Azeris, and then about 13 or 14 sections of Americans. And I remember the world championships and, you know, obviously anybody who's been to those and here's the horns and, it's going to be electric, and these opportunities don't come too often. And Carver Hawkeye Arena will be full. There isn't a doubt in my mind, and it'll be an experience unlike um, any other that any of those other wrestling countries ha have even experienced. Uh, uh, they're going to see why why we have the reputation we do have here. I can only hope. Perhaps we'll see a day in the future when this comes true. But I would only hope that universities around the country and their athletic directors, guys like Gary Barta, would throw their weight, their belief, their support behind events like this, behind the sport of wrestling. And that's how we grow it. Uh, I, I got to tell you that, you know, all of us in the wrestling community are so proud of what Iowa City uh, the greater community, the Coralville uh, Chamber, and everybody is done because it's, it's, it's hotels, it's restaurants. Everybody's prepared for a large group of fans that are well-schooled in the sport to gather together to celebrate the sport and its very best athletes. It's an exciting opportunity, isn't it? It is, you know, and I think the story that kind of speaks to this community's passion for this is when, it, less this past January before the trials, Coach Steiner always likes to bring the women back and, sh you know, show off his roots and uh, show off Iowa. And, you know, he's done that a couple times now. And he, he calls me and, and wants some help with some food and some meals for the, for the team. And it takes me one email to send to, uh, you know, our partners here in this community. And in the span of about an hour, I've got eight different restaurants that have agreed to step up and feed 30 uh, USA Team USA athletes for the women. And, you know, one of the one of the women pulled me aside after one of the dinners and and just said she couldn't believe it. She's like, uh, you know, we're, in this community, we're treated like uh, princesses here. I mean, and, and we're and I said, well, that's just because you're wrestlers. <laughs> that's really what it boils down to. I mean, everybody knows. Wrestlers are treated like kings here. Uh, men, women, Greco, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Oh, it, it, it is absolutely true. Folks, you can follow along with this uh, story. And I know Josh will be pleased to extend out the, uh, the, the Iowa City Corval Convention and Visitors Bureau uh, website. Josh, would you do that? Yeah, I mean, you can find it at iowacitycorval.org. Uh, I know hawkeyesports.com and obviously USA Wrestling just posted the, the story. And you can follow along. Uh, we'll have more information as it becomes available with tickets and uh, all that sort of information will be found on our Facebook and Twitter links and, and, and uh, the rest. We'll be happy to join you in the promotion of this event, Josh, live on our Mediacom channels here, MC22, and, of course, on our various networks around the country as well. It's always a pleasure to talk to you, and even better today when you get to make that big announcement that the World Cup is coming to Iowa City, Iowa, in the famed, the storied Carver Hawkeye Arena in Dan Gable's backyard. Are you kidding me? This is the place <laughs> to do it. I'm looking forward to it. Josh, thanks for the time today. Thank you, Scott. Thanks for all you do. We, we really appreciate it. I love listening to you. Thank you. so. Oh, that's very kind. Thank you very much. For all of us, Nike Hot Seat special guest Joshua Schomburger from the Iowa City Coravel Convention and Visitors Bureau.